Welcome to Worst Heroes, everybody. I'm your host, Brandon, and today I'm taking a look at this game that Steam suggested for me called Finger Bones. It's a free game. It's, a supposed, to, it's supposed to be a short uh, psychological horror game that's supposed to be about mystery and the storytelling. It's supposed to take about half an hour or so. So I thought, why not? It sounds interesting. I'm home alone. Something atmospheric. Why the hell not? I've got the night to myself. Let's take a look. Okay. It's, the lighting effects are kind of bright since I'm... As you can see, it is dark where I am. So, you know, it's going to be hard to see me sometimes. But I can't really do much about that, sadly. This is the best I can do with the lighting I have given to me in where I'm living. If I turn on the overhead, then you can't see me at all. But anyway, I wanted to keep the kind of the, the feel for this game. This is supposed to be about storytelling and mystery and discovery. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral. Unless a concrete scientific reason, 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 Unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay. This game's deep from the get-go. Alright. Uh, I have a flashlight. Thanks, flashlight. Hello. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. But whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay. Survival bunker. So something happened, I guess. That's a knife. It's my weekend to get Katie. But I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed. I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. So, we have a man, recently divorced, with a young daughter. He's a scientist, he's got a scientific mind. He's got a scientific mind, and what the hell, is that supposed to be a, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Anyway, let's get a scientific mind and a um, survival shelter. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. That wasn't something I was expecting to say in this. I shook uncontrollably the, uncontrollably the entire time. I felt this, that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cell. Oh, this is going to get very, very not cool, isn't it? Right, that door does not open. Okay, uh, I'm assuming that's some sort of generator. I don't know, this, this game's very low texture, so it's kind of hard to tell what things are. This thing lit up. Isn't that her name? Could have sworn that was her name. K. 
Katie. Oh, I think I, I think I need to use caps. Katie. Did that work? Hello. Okay, it did work. Alright. That was creepy. Alright, so we're heading into this Minecraft cellar, I guess. Hello there, cube. Hello, note. With another knife-like implement. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle... What was that? When the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. She's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. I really hope this doesn't take a creepy, creepy turn that I really hope it doesn't take. Box up everything that isn't practical and useful. Burned all the books that weren't for scientific ed edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. What? The tool room has been her name f for... The tool room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Okay, girl. Um, that is really, really creepy. Seriously. Really creepy. Alright, that doesn't open. For shits and giggles, let's try something here. Katie worked for the first one. Let's try his wife's name for the second one. Either the, the basement, or not the basement, the, the shelter hatch or the side door. Oh, it worked for this one. Oh. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Okay. Calm down, girl. Hello. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman. And now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore? That's... I swear I turned around and there was something right there during that noise. Oh god, this is gonna take a really, really creepy turn. Is that supposed to be blood on the table? Oh god. Oh god, I feel like I am really going to regret playing this game. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY. The rest of the word is missing. NNY. NNY? NNY. 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 I'm dumb. His wife's name backwards. That has to be it. Oh, 
I will say, not being able to sprint is kind of annoying with the back and forth you do. And this game... The door is closed. Alright, do you open? You don't open. You do. Wait, am I the little girl? I'm way too tall to be the little girl. Why am I auto-walking? That's fucking creepy. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demanded produ reproduction. I wrote books and created because my creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to re reproduce and to protect their genes, dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of, of our collective primordial imagination fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on Earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Okay. Button. A button. Whoa. Oh. What is this? Are those little bones? The cellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom? The cellar is freedom. Something bad's gonna happen. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom. It took the to it look it, pfft, it took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Oh god. My flashlight's dying. It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The part that I missed... And I, I did a little digging so that I could get it because I didn't want to play through the whole game again. That last note, I want, I want to put this up there for everyone to be able to see. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. When I saw that this game was horror, I was seriously expecting, I don't know, scares. Jump scares or just creepy scares or a monster or something. Instead, this has been... Amazing. Uh, I hate scary games, but this one 
was unsettling and and deep and I guess my impression of it is the world came to some cataclysmic end this father who was all about science and I guess hit with so, so much depression from things happening in his life beforehand including his divorce that he hit such a level of depression that he saw it as enlightenment but I guess most of us would see it as a snapping and losing our touch with reality at least in a sense after the world ended he, he for some reason was prepared and had his own little uh, shelter for it couldn't get contact with anyone else, didn't have enough supplies for himself and his daughter. I guess I guess he hadn't planned since he didn't have custody that he would have her. And then I I I It got kind of disturbing insinuating that that he had urges towards the girl and yeah, but in the end, I guess the game was you were the the father coming back years later because you originally thought you were right and you were wrong. You thought that peace and freedom was being alone, but in the end, it was it was not. You, the, the conscience eventually gets the better of you and even with the sounds of the horrors and the memories he still found comfort and peace facing what he did I don't know I it's very deep and disturbing oh and one hell of a little game to pick for 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 the rare occasion where I can record late at night I wasn't I was not expecting this game to be I don't know how to put it It was, it was really good. I will say that. Yes, it is, it is, it is disturbing. Some of the insinuations that were made, but it's horror. And it's the kind of horror that I love when it comes to some of the scary stories and creepypastas that I find to be incredible. Which are the ones that aren't so much about the, err, I'm gonna kill you, but the, the ones that are more about the horrors of mankind. Because deep down, you will know that, at least most people will know that that monster in the story isn't real, but in a story about the darkness of of the human psyche the 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 horrors of the, the darkness of how mankind and how the, how people can be those are the the horrors that i really like those are the ones that really like i enjoy that kind of horror and this game delivered and I have been rambling and rambling. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if there's any more little free gems like this out there. I really would love to do more. Anyway, thank you for watching.
and I'll catch you in the next episode of Worst Heroes. Thank you.